Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. How true. So he says, I never transgressed your commandment at any time. Yet you never gave me a young goat that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son of yours, who has devoured your livelihood with harlots. How do you know that? All right. Mm -hmm. How did the brother know Cause he hadn't what the younger him. son was the doing because he hadn't had no interaction? No. You he knew me. where he was, you but tell he wasn't me. willing to go get Don't him ask out. me a question you can't answer. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Why, why did he say... He's devoured you because he knew where he was, but he wasn't willing to go get him out. Good. He knew where gracious. he was and he knew what he was doing, but he wasn't oh, willing to get dirty my. and go dig oh, him out. My. And so the church is judging people because we're not willing to get dirty and go dig them out. But I'm ready to get dirty yeah, if we yeah. need to get oh, dirty because I needed to be dug out and I'm ready to go dig somebody else out. This is the power of the gospel. See, man. see, see, Damon, you, 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 you just hit something right there because... Oh. If I have one, and I'm a pastor's son, I'm four generations of preachers, I'm a pastor's son evangelist for 33 years. If I have, if I can use this term, a pet peeve with the body of Christ, it's you can have somebody in church not show up for 30 days and nobody pay attention. That's exactly right, man. And you can have people say, well, I heard so-and-so's having trouble. Yeah, well, right. you just need to pray for them. No, yeah. you don't need to. You need to leave the 90 and 9 in the and church. And go after the one. And go it's find the, the one that's, yeah. that's having marital I trouble, agree, that's having problems. And we have let sheep stray and just say, well, isn't that something? It yeah. must just be the last days because, you know, people are going to backslide. Right. But I'm right. telling you tonight, we're after you, backslider. Come we're on, after man. that lost yes, sheep. Sir. We're after that person. Yes, sir. Hey, Damon, there's been some people hurt by churches. And yeah. they're sitting at home right now watching TV in. Maybe they just happened to flip by. Would Come you on. minister to them the time we got left and get, tell them not to judge everybody by an older That's brother? That's right. That's exactly right. What you need to know is, friend, listen. I wandered away from the church for quite a few years because of the rejection of the older brother. It's not right. What I did was wrong. I was not justified, but it was reality. Some scholars believe that the younger brother left the house in the first place because of the attitude of his older brother. Mm. What is the answer when you have an older brother that has judged you while you were in the pig pen? You need a new older brother. And the Bible says that Jesus is the firstborn among many brethren. So you don't just have an older brother now that won't judge you when you go wrong. You have an older brother that left heaven and all of the glamour that went with it, wrapped himself in flesh and came to get you out of the pig pen. Yeah. Maybe there are people today that are watching you say, you know what? I'm too weak to even walk down the road. I'm too weak to throw down the corn husk, climb over the fence and get out of the pig pen. But I want to tell you, the Bible said he'll pull you out. Yes, of yes, the yes. miry clay. You may be my, in a stinking my. situation. I heard when we were praying in the back, Perry, I heard the Lord say, there's a young man that's dealing with the spirit of suicide. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Jeez. And I say to you, young man, I don't care how bad it stinks Jeez. or how long you've been there. You know what the problem is with the pig pen? You end up feeding something you can't eat. The boy was feeding pigs, but he couldn't eat pigs because he had just enough covenant to know he couldn't eat the pigs. But he didn't have so much covenant that he knew he could go back to his father's house. But I want to tell you, listen to me, friend. I don't care how long you've been gone. I don't care how much you drank. I don't care how many drugs you did. I don't care who you slept with. I don't care if you've lost everything and if you are at the bottom. If you know... Oh, that you feel the drawing and the love of your older brother today, he can get you back to your father. Listen, uh, his name is not Pharisee. Come on. His name is Jesus. Jesus. He is Yeshua. He is Savior. He is Messiah and He is Redeemer. If you're watching this today and you feel like you're too far gone, I feel like there are pastor's kids that are watching this today. Jesus. I feel like there's Dear evangelist Jesus. kids that are watching this today. I feel like some of you were raised in dysfunctional situation. You are judged by religious systems. But I want to say to you today, this whole program is about you. Yes, it is. And God would stop everything. We could stand up here all night and give mm -hmm. nuggets to the church. But I want to throw a net to the lost today. Friend, listen to me. If you're watching this today, it is not too late, and you are not too far gone. I know you stink, but there's no better way to cover your stench than to receive the robe of your father. What is the answer? Your older brother came down, and he who knew no sin became sin, that you through him might become the righteousness of God in Christ. You know what the... The father tells the servants, hallelujah, I feel Jesus. the Holy Ghost. I do too. When he meets oh that younger my. son on the road, 
You know what the father tells the servants? He said, go get him the best robe. Best robe. The, he soiled the one I gave him. Yeah. So go get him mine. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm going to take what is supposed to be on me and I'm going to put it on him. You may be filthy today, but he'll take the righteousness that is on Jesus and he'll put it on you. Yes, Let me will. tell you, there's a party for you, friend. Yes. You may be living in some dark days, but I hear prophetic music playing. I see Prophesy prophetic too. dancing over your life. And I say over you that you are coming out of darkness and into marvelous light. That what the devil meant for evil, God will turn and use it for good. The devil may have come in one way, but he's fleeing out seven ways. Something is about to turn around for you if you will just say yes to the Father's house. Oh my. Hallelujah. Now right now, Hallelujah. There, are, there are hundreds. I don't oh, mean Jesus. one or two. There's hundreds. Now, Damon had a word. There's somebody that has a spirit of hopelessness on you to the point that you're ready to give up and you're actually uh, willing to take your life not knowing that your life has a future Jesus. and not knowing that you're going to influence people with your testimony down the road. There's a number on your screen. I implore you, I implore you in the name of Jesus, that if you're in a trailer, you're in a hotel room, you're at home or an apartment, doesn't matter where you're at, pick up the telephone now. Yes. And tell that person on the other end of the line, a loving, caring phone operator at TBN, I'm listening to this message. God is touching me. I need prayer. They will pray for you. They'll help pray those spirits off of you. They'll help pray victory into your life. These are not just people answering the phone. These are people Come that on, stay Barry. prayed up at yes, TBN sir. that are experienced that know how to pray for you. Now, you listen to me. I don't care how long you've been away from God. I don't care how deep you think your sin is. This man was in a pig pen. Do you understand? Jews cannot stand pork. It's not kosher. Yeah. Muslims believe if you touch it, you can't even go to heaven. And here's a Jewish boy living in a pig pen. That's as low as you can get. But what happens? He puts the coat on of his father, and God gives him a party. Heaven's going to rejoice in a little bit because your name is going to be put in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven. You hear me? Uh, heaven is going to rejoice over you. You get to that phone, I implore you in the name of Jesus. Give me your hand, Damon, for yes, just a sir. minute. I break Hallelujah. every demonic power yes, in the Lord, name of we Jesus agree. that's trying to bind the mind yes, of every, everybody watching me who in needs deliverance from alcohol, drugs, pornography, whatever the bondage is, everything that they need freedom from, I bind that yes, demonic Lord. power. Be loosed right now. Your mind Hallelujah. be clear where you can call and someone can pray with you in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Now, now listen, we're going to go to a song. I want you to do it right now. Now, I want, you, I want to tell you something. This is a great man of God with the great word, and you've heard something that you can get into your spirit and you can receive. Now, Beth Stevens is coming in just yes, a moment, Lord. and she's got another word for you. Folks, I'm telling you, don't turn the television at all don't do anything go to all the ho go to all you understand why i said a moment ago go to every television set in your house turn it on get the volume loud enough if nobody's in the room for the walls to hear so that this word can fill the house so when that backslider it's backslider and center or that person that's cold on god comes into that house later on this evening that the spirit of god will be in that room and conviction will come to their heart in jesus name becky smith is going to sing not just a scar but you stay tuned for our next speaker who has a word from God.